Okay, sorry. I had to. I started uh, downloading a bunch of music onto my old phone, and then I'm using that to listen to music. What's going on? It's Parker. Parker here during the day. We got a daytime leg day coming at ya. Coming at ya hot. It's 1.25 p.m. And I am procrastinating my homework. That's what I'm doing. You are actively watching me do that. But that's okay. That's how we roll. Because if you leave it to the last minute to finish it, it only takes one minute to do. And I stand by that. Look at this nasty shiner right here. I just popped it like five minutes ago as I was driving. Uh, here, what we're gonna do right now, while we're driving, do a quick energy drink taste test. Haven't done one of these in a minute. I uh, was by the at the grocery store yesterday and I saw this energy drink flavor that I've never seen before. It's a new rain flavor called, uh, hold on here, we're stopping here. I don't want you falling forward. It's called Rain Sour Gummy Worm. I'm kind of excited. Oh wow, yeah that really does taste like a gummy worm, I think. I don't know who's still eating gummy worms these days, but this is a good substitute for it, I guess. It's pretty good, I mean it's very sweet, but it does have a little bit of sourness in there. I like it, I like it, Parker approved. You guys ever like be just like chilling by yourself? Cause I spend a lot of time by myself, just uh, thinking, thinking, you know, as normal humans do. But do you ever like think of something or better yet, do you ever like start talking to yourself and then you say something that just makes you start like laugh uncontrolled, that makes you start to laugh uncontrollably? That you, like you said it out loud to yourself and you're like, wait, what did I just say? And then you just start laughing like a crazy person. Yeah, that happens to me a lot. <laughs> I make myself laugh. Sometimes internally, sometimes externally. But yesterday I was, I don't know why this is so funny <laughs> to me. I was doing some laundry and I smelled my dirty laundry. It smelled rancid. I took, I took, I like, it was, I think it had to be like the first thing I actually like said during the day. Like I hadn't opened my mouth and said anything out loud up until that point. And I smelled it and I go, I go, boy, that smelled unreasonably bad. <laughs> <laughs> unreasonably bad and I only thought that was funny because like the concept of something smelling reasonably bad like okay yeah I mean it smells bad but it's reasonable but then <laughs> no that's unreasonably bad yeah I was la I had a good good chuckle of it. I don't know yeah there's a dead deer we're cutting cuts going good 192 this morning I, yesterday what I did was, is I finally thought to do this because I always kick myself for not doing it. I took a bunch of like progress photos slash videos of my current state. So that way I can do like some crazy like TikTok or Instagram reel or something like that or a thumbnail even of being like day one, this is what I look like and then this is me at the end, day third, day, day 300 when I'm super, super, sexy and lean and not a shred of body fat so those are in the books i am accountable at this point but i've been weighing i, I busted out the old food scale dusted it off I haven't used it probably like a year oh actually that's not true i used to use it i used it like in november what am i saying but anyway i was weighing out my stuff getting dialed and i gotta tell you what i'm feeling a whole lot better not feeling so bloated all the time. Like I feel, you know, just feel like, feel like a, feel like a, like a, like a vacuum. I got vacuum sealed and everything just got, you know, tightened it up, especially in the morning. You know that morning skinny, unmatched. Tell me something, tell me something, tell me something I don't know. I was thinking more about that, that, that thing I was talking about the other day, the other night, when I was uh, trying to, find or I was I was basically going through different words in the English language that I thought are like the words are perfect for what they are describing you know what I mean like there's some words that just don't match what they are or what they mean but there's some words that like you hear them and you're like oh yeah that's exactly what it is like they just it just fits like an example was slime like slime the word slime you hear slime and it like, yeah, that, that matches exactly what slime is. But then you hear a word like, I don't know, 
What was one that I thought didn't sound like what it was? Candle? I don't think candle sounds like what it is. I mean, it's a very subjective thing to think about, but it is kind of a fun mental exercise. Let's see if I can come up with another word that sounds exactly what it is. Barrel. That's a good one. Barrel. Barrel. Or uh, lightning. Ooh, lightning. Electricity. Electric. Electric. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that one a lot. Ba, ba. <laughs> this woman is selling tamales. Okay. Cooler. Yeah, that's a good one. Cooler. I could go all day. Well. What the shit? Did you hear that? Burning rubber. Tokyo Drift back there. What am I doing here real quick? Damn. I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna jam out to some music the rest of the way. I don't really have anything else to talk about. Let's see here. Something with some vigor to it. Okay, so this workout is already off to a terrible start. I mean, good news is they just opened this like addition to the building. This whole beautiful like cardio room with there's posing mirrors over there. But I noticed the second I got on the Stairmaster, forgot my headphones at home, so no music. And well, actually, and that's about it. There's another thing, but I'll talk about that in a second. But no headphones really sucks. Three, two, one. Okay, so the mistake, the other thing that's bad news today is I wore the wrong shoes. I wore these like sneaker shoes. I wasn't even thinking that I was doing legs. I just kind of put them on. And normally when you do legs, you want to be wearing like some sort of like flat bottom thing. But that did not happen today. So we are forced to, we might be taking them off and just work out in our socks whenever we do our squatting movement after I do this so no music wrong shoes we are just we got all the cards stacked against us right now man all I want to do is listen to some to some Jack Harlow but I can't because I don't have my gosh darn headphones I definitely think there's some kind of mold growing in this cup I haven't washed it in a while. The water's starting to taste a little questionable. Not even water, anything I put in it has a little bit of a, a little subtle, subtle vibe of fungus, fungal vibes. I'd really like to go to Africa. I'm gonna attempt to do 10 reps of this. I'm not confident, because I don't do this movement very often on the Smith machine. We're gonna give it our best go. And it's gonna be even tougher because I don't have any music. So, but hey, we're not letting that stop us. <laughs> Hold on, there's no way I'm getting 10 with that. That's too uncomfortable. I gotta switch it around. I gotta, I gotta face that way. I'm supposed to take off these shoes. I forgot to do that. Hold on. Just delaying this set for as long as possible.
Oh, yeah, that smells. Oh, it smells really bad. Oh, yeah. God, that feels super uncomfortable. Like it just feels, feels restricted in the worst places. I might switch to a different machine. I think I'm gonna switch to the actual hack squat. I hate this so much. Dude, this is the last place on earth I want to be. Locked into a hack squat. <laughs> but I'm here. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. That's going to be my new thing. I'm just going to start saying random catchphrases after I finish my sets. Uh, snap, crackle, pop. Don't do drugs. Don't throw up, don't throw up, don't throw up. God damn, god damn, oh my god. Uh, the snack that smiles back, goldfish. What are you looking at? I'm gonna do my set now. One, four more, two, three more, two more. Honestly, the lighting's a little dark in here. Like, it could be brighter. But, better than, better than nothing. I like this, this thing. Uh, okay. And then I'll run on my chest. I'm told I'd fall asleep, I'd rather fall in love. Say love you under my breath. More times than you can digest. I don't wanna fall asleep, I'd rather do you guys have like a specific artist that life depended on it? Gun to your head, someone said you have to sing a song by this artist somewhat decently and you and you have one, like you have one in mind. For me, it's Justin Bieber. Cause you know, I have a voice of an angel and so we just kind of, I naturally am able to sing his, his songs very well. I'm kidding of course, however I feel like Give me a good Justin Bieber, you know, kind of ballad song, ballad kind of song, like slow song. Oh my God, I can pipe one of those out with some emotion. 
So one of, one of my favorite pastimes to do on long drives. I kind of get in my bag. So yeah, let me know who your artist is. I'm gonna go home, make some chicken and rice. Or not make chicken, I mean it's already made. Just gotta reheat it, kind of pumped honestly. And then that's it, and that's it. Uh... <laughs> trying to do Darude Sandstorm. That's what came to mind for some reason. <laughs> Love that song. You ever watch those uh, YouTube videos of that guy that does, he like recreates albums, like entire hip hop albums basically, but only using sounds that he makes with his voice. Like he re recreates the instrumentals, all the drums, all the everything, the lyrics, the vocals. He does it all, but it just like from his voice. I mean, obviously there's some like vocal processing to like make some of the instrument distinct sounds and stuff, but I can't imagine how much work that takes. I, I watch some of those sometimes, and they're very impressive. Anywho, yep, I'm just excited to eat this chicken and rice. Maybe I'll show maybe I'll show you a little clip of it. I'll give you a little, a little insight into my eating. No, no, no. Okay. One hundred eighty five grams of chicken breast and then like sixty grams of uh dry jasmine rice and then just some barbecue sauce on top. Oh, it's still kinda cold.